Okay, so for staff that chooses to use Zoom um, for their video conferencing over Google Meets or Teams, one thing that I found to be a little useful is to set up a recurring meeting for your classes so that you have the same meeting details. You'll only need to post it on Google Classroom or Schedula, wherever you choose to communicate with students about your meeting details. You'll only need to do it once and it will work for um, the full week. So I'm planning on doing this at a per, one week at a time. Um, and so you'll notice I already did it for two of my classes here and you'll see that the meetings are scheduled. Um, I have one for Monday, September 21st, all the way down to Friday, September 25th. Um, and one thing that you'll notice for each of the days, the meeting ID is actually the same and the password is actually the same. So that you'll only need to generate this information for students once per week. So in order to do that, you're going to head over here where it says to schedule a meeting. You are going to put in whatever your meeting details are. So the topic, um, this is going to be for my third class. This is going to be sophomore research period eight. You can put a description if you want. I generally don't. Um, and the first time I'm meeting with my students would be on Monday and we meet eighth period. So I'm just gonna say sometime around one. Um, Zoom really doesn't allow you to do specific times. It's just at half hour increments. So I just round either up um, or down to the closest half an hour. Um, in this little panel here, you are going to want to click recurring meeting. And the recurrence would be daily. So you want it to populate every single day. And then there's going to be an ending date. Um, because we're starting on the 21st, which is Monday, I'm going to say that this should stop on Friday. And you notice that it's going to recur every day until September 25th. So there would be five total recurrences. Here, you can change your password if you want. I generally generate a password for my students, um, but you can keep it random if you want. I'm gonna keep it random just for this, just for these purposes. I'll go back and change it later. Um, and also Ms. Kornacker sent something out about making sure that students are only using their school's email address when they join. So that actually happens in this section here where it says meeting options. Previously, this was not clicked on, um, and so you are going to have to click it and say only authenticated users can join, and that's using our staff policy that's set by the DOE that's not set by Midwood High School. And so it will only allow anyone with an email address that's schools.nyc.gov, DOE external, or the students one, nycstudents.net. Um, and I'm going to click save. And so now you'll see all of the details for this meeting. But if I go back, you'll now see that I have five of these occurrences. They all have the same meeting idea here, oh, sorry, meeting ID. And they will all have the same password. So I'm just going to post this once per week for all of my students. Hope this helps.